Hello and welcome to another Vaggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review. I've been doing a few just lately. I'm enjoying it though. I enjoy talking to the camera. So today we're reviewing this. It's called Top Shelf Scotch Heather. They've had to change the name of it. It used to be, it's basically Drambury. Um, but they've had to change the name because I think, um, you know, trademarks and stuff. So it's made by Still Spirits. You basically you get this fella here, you add this. Oh, there's a bit left in. So you add that to both vodka and a Still Spirits base. If you haven't got a Still Spirits base, you can add it to syrup or honey. There's lots of information on the internet about that. Because the Still Spirits bases are couple of quid each where you could use 20 30 pence of syrup or honey so you put it together and it's not Pepsi and it makes that so I love Drambury I was at Sainsbury's one year and uh, there was this bottle and it wasn't in a good condition and I washed it we washed it down I think something had spilled all over it and you could have chucked it really but we didn't, we washed it down and it got reduced and I had it and uh, bless you I got it for about like seven quid Whew. and they're in the good old days but anyway and I fell in love with John Bury then because I wasn't paying 18 quid for a bottle of bloody whiskey so it's basically it's a whiskey liqueur And on the nose, it's, what does it say here? It says, honey-based whiskey liqueur, first produced on the island of Skye from an infusion of herbs and spices. And there is like a spicy aroma to it. And funnily enough, smell of heather. But with this there's lots of complex uh, aromas so there's more there than what's going off now i normally have this with cola for the purpose of this interview and i've got a clean glass as well i've had two clean glasses on the road hey wonders will never cease it's because i can't be asked to walk back up to the house so this fellow here makes up to i think it's just over one litre 1.15 litres or something but they actually to add water after a certain amount, well I'm not doing that because I, what I want it to do is bridge the gap between liqueurs and whiskies. Whiskies are 40%, liqueurs 20 to 25%. This, because I've not put water in it and I had it a bit more vodka, it's in about 30 to 35% area and that to me is a good area. So let's try it. Oh yes. So I have added syrup to this, probably about a hundred millilitres of syrup. You can add glucose, you can buy the, they, they tell you to buy the still spirit base pack, but you're paying a couple of quid for this base pack. And uh, yeah, I pay for it, but I don't know, I'm being, you know, tight. Then you add it to vodka or distilled spirit. Uh, somebody uh, on, the, on the YouTube channel says, you can actually distill spirit using uh, a freezer. And get it up to 40%. I don't know about that, if that's true or not, I'm not sure. Um, fair play to them if they can. If you don't need to use a still, you still have to brew the you still have to brew the wash. They call it a wash, and that wash you put through an air still to get it to 40%. Or you just buy vodka. See, sometimes it's just easier buying vodka, especially if you can get it cheap. And then you mix it with this. Um, but if you can do it for a fridge, that's interesting. Because you can get some of these, um, so you, you mix up 24 litres of water, you add six bags of sugar, you know, you make sure you get it all rinsed out, and then you get this turbo yeast, 24 hour turbo yeast that turns that into like 15, and anything up to 23% uh, wash, or like a vodka, 23% vodka. Um, you see a lot in Spain, a lot of vodkas around 20% and uh, you know, you don't look, you look and you think 20%, that's not right. And it's just fermented vodka rather than 
Koch bewahrt kann. Oh, so again, the spices and the herbs that come through, it's just like Drambury. And I've tasted whew, a fair amount of Drambury in my time. Gotta say, I love this stuff. And uh, hence why I bought another one of these, because I just wanted to uh, taste it again, but under a cheaper circumstance. Oh. So it's got the thickness, because with Drambury, with whiskey, it's basically like a water, coppery water. And this is more, there's more thicker to it. It's more of a, uh, a thick consistency, should we say. I might not be getting the words right, but hey -oh. um, oh. But it goes down an absolute treat. The strength is definitely there. I'm proper feeling it. And uh, oh, I don't drink too much, I'll be on my back. And it's Thursday already. These weeks are strange, aren't they? Who out there isn't feeling strange? Especially if you are actually stopping at home because your work can't do their job. So you're getting the 80% pay or you're retired or you're out of work, you know, sad, desperate times. I mean, there are lots of jobs out there. But if you've got somebody at home who's not, I mean, there's people who are fit who've gone down to this. That's the scary side of things. But anyway, back to the period where it matters at this moment in time anyway. And uh, definitely got legs on it. You can see it going down the glass. Can you see it? I don't know if it shows up on there. Yeah, you can. You can see it on the glass where the film is. And that, that's what they call legs. And it's like a film that goes down the inside of the glass when you're drinking um, alcohol. Been a good day today. Got more review stock. 11 out of 12 bottles I've never had before. So that's great for me because it's interesting when you're drinking stuff you've never had and I've got here at least 200 bottles and I bet you 195 of them I've never drank before which is great I've you know and even if I'm doing two or even three reviews a day it um not that you should be drinking that much a day obviously if you listen to what they say but um You've got to have hobby, haven't you? I dare say, once the summer months come and uh, I'm busy doing the garden, and then there won't be. And they reckon this weekend's going to be nice, so hopefully. Uh, if you look at the BBC weather forecast, it says it's going to be 17 on Saturday, 17, 18, which for us is October weather. So tomorrow night, the October's going to get emptied, and um, we'll. Uh, Get the octob emptied and uh, refill it from the hot water tap uh, rather than having the eating on all day doing it because that kills your electricity bill. And uh, sitting it on Saturday afternoon, chilling out in the octob. Like ginger beer, it's got fire. When you drink a bit of it, there's some right fire that goes down your throat. Lovely. Whew. Can't fault it. So, light copper in colour. Um, on the nose, herbs and spices, on the taste, very much the same. You can tell the whiskey's in the background on this. There's honey, syrup, it's all taste of them sort of things. And what it delivers is a really nice, if you're not a mad fan of whiskey, because it's so strong, but you like something that's in that area, this Scotch, um, top shelf Scotch ever, Drambury, um, is certainly the way to go. And again, if you 
have got your own still and you can make this stuff, you're laughing at the price. I mean, I think this was about three quid, something along them lines. Um, so if you're doing it the the stilled spirit way, it's going to cost you four pound twenty five, four fifty, if you include honey. And if you do it by the base with the base pack instead of the honey, probably about six quid. But when the bottles are normally twenty odd quid a bottle, you can see where there's a thing. Uh, so, so workings are about three quid, four twenty five. About a fiver if you do it the distilled spirit and honey way. If you do it the distilled spirit and base pack way, it's around about seven quid I think in total. About no six fifty. If you do it the vodka way from a shop, you could say a little buy a ten pound bottle of vodka, put it with that, then you're looking at ten, thirteen. And about thirteen fifty, if you do it the vodka, that the essence and honey. If you do it the vodka, the essence and the base, it's about fifteen. So it's still ten pound cheaper than what most shops are selling it for. But obviously, the distilled spirit way is definitely the way. Or if you can get cheap vodka. And like I say, use honey or syrup. So, there we go, out of five then, um, 4.55 out of five, absolutely gorgeous, tastes just like Jam Beauty, and, uh, and it's stronger, well I made it stronger because I put more in, glunk glunk glunk, um, I, I did say 4.55 out of five, didn't I? yeah I did yeah, so um, yeah, absolutely lovely. And that's me done. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers. And stay safe.